Hi, this is Yvonne Pran, and we're going to talk about free Microsoft clip art and how to make the most of it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to explore the Microsoft site. First, we'll look at their guidelines on usage. Then we're going to find clip art. Then I'll show you how to find similar clip art. And then after that, please do check out this additional lesson on tips for communication production using your clip art. So let's first of all look at the guidelines for Microsoft because we want to be very careful that we use things properly. Now on the EffectiveChurchCom.com site, I do have additional material on copyright and usage. I'll have the link to that here. Okay, first let's look at who may use material and how. Now, I won't go over all of it, but let me pull out the key phrase. This is directed to people who have contributed the material, and it says that the people who access the site may, for free, use, save, reproduce, distribute, display, and transmit that content in connection with their use of the services and other Microsoft or its licenses, products, and services. If you don't want others to have that ability, don't use the services to share your content. So basically this, this is saying you can use what is available on this site however you want to use it in your church. Now always of course this is for the use of your church, for, um, it, for use in your church. You can't make t-shirts and sell them, you can't take their designs and resell them. But I think it's always just really important to look at the guidelines before you get into any of the material. Having done that, let's now go to the website. Here we are on Microsoft.com. And what you want to do is you want to go over to the tab that says Downloads and then go to Office Clip Art and Media. Now, in my humble opinion, I think this is one of the most extraordinary resources available on the web. Some of the most expensive companies contribute samples to Microsoft, and you can use them for free. Of course, they do that to get publicity and to encourage you to look at their main site. But if you just stick with the free images, you get some fantastic material. Now, there are a number of different ways that you can access the material. You can look at some of their different slideshows that they have here. For example, let's just um, look at this one. You can just skim through it, or you can look in their top categories. I have already checked religion, so let's just look at this one. And you can see there are a lot of different images in different styles. Now, of course, because this is not fully a Christian site, you will get things from all kinds of different religions, but you might want that if you're doing a study on different religious traditions. Or Now, let me illustrate. If you say you're looking forward to a upcoming holiday, let's just look at Christmas. And now here we have a variety of styles for Christmas. Now, the thing that I just love about the Microsoft site is let's pick something, perhaps say this angel right here. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And what you can do is any image that you select, you can go down to the bottom of that page and notice this little section here. This is the coolest thing. You can click on similar images. And what this does is this brings up a whole assortment of images that are either similar in style. You can see this particular angel and this girl here and even this type of Santa, this angel here in similar styles, but also just in the topic. And so you have angels of different styles in it. Now from this, you can click on any image and you can immediately download that particular image if you want to. Just click Save the File, that's all there is to that. Or you can continue to go into different ones. You can see what happens when you click on this one as a similar image. And it's, it's just a tremendous amount of fun. Let me now go back to the search bar and let me just type in maybe a more generic label. Let's talk, let's look at swirls. Now here you get some really fun things. You can see some different designs. Let's pick one of them. That one is beautiful. Really like that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and download it. I don't have that one yet. But now then looking at the similar images. 
Look at all the fantastic things that come up. Um, say you want to totally switch the style, pull up something like this, and look at some of these gorgeous, gorgeous images. Let's do one more search here. Let's type in children. Now, this is a great way to find images for your children's ministry. One of the things that's so nice about these is these are all model release, copyright free, and you can use an image of a child without having to worry about violating the privacy of the children in your church. So let's just look at another one. Look at all those great images. That is too cute. Something like that you could use for Father's Day, for recruiting men into your children's ministry. Let's see what happens when we explore similar images here. Just once again, a huge variety of things. If you don't want photographs, click Illustration, and then this will come up. Once again, perhaps you want to look up things in a certain style. Let's click this little boy. And if you like the very popular anime style now, look at all the children's things you have in this style. One could go on and on, and there are many, many options, many things that you can look at. But I hope that you see how, from simply the Microsoft.com site, you have literally thousands and thousands of free images, very high quality, many that you can use in your church publications. Please be sure to watch the other video that goes along with this one, which is a video on tips for communication production. In this, I show you some ways to modify the things that you've downloaded, put them into folders, and have them ready to go for your church communication projects. And also, please look at the additional training materials about using ClipArt that are on the Effective Church Communications website. I will have links to them along with this video. And may the Lord give you great joy as you serve him today in church communications.